daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Lots of pink all around for this Mother's Day matchup between the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak and guys the Friars have come in here and dominated the series so far a chance to sweep this road set here today. Yeah and it's never easy Maddie. in order to get a three game sweep you have to do a lot of things right and you have to have the ball bounce your way and that's exactly what's happened leading up to this ball game today. I expect them to be focused looking to bury this team. Zach Eflin will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey we're looking at a real solid starting pitcher right here. You take a look at that ERA anywhere between three and a half and four. But I'll tell you what he does know how to do. He knows how to get people out and he can minimize the damage. He knows how to control the running game. He does a lot of things right. And if he does all those things expect a real solid performance in this one. So here is Fernando Tatis Jr. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. There's a swing and a high blast headed for the corner and right up into the arcade and out of here. So it's a solo shot on the very first pitch of the ball game. Sixth home run on the season for him and the Padres bust out in front one to nothing. This guy has some pop in that leadoff spot. You have to be a little bit more careful than that. Threw him a first pitch strike and he hit it over the wall. Batting second. The batter will be the Vidal Brujan. Vidal. And on the Bruhan. first pitch, he grounds foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ball. Danny Dero, this Giants team, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in in a bit of a rough patch. They've dropped four in a row. Yeah, Maddie, this is the perfect guy to have on the mound. A veteran, not going to let the moment get too big for him, completely understands what's being asked of him. They've been losing lately, that can't be denied. But this is the perfect guy, right guy, right spot. Throw on the first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Soto. Digging in now for San Diego. Juan Soto. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. First offering as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 head to head at the start of play against Zach Eflin he's a 300 hitter 3 for 10 he's taken him deep once missed low and inside with it 1 and 1 so let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one behind the plate is Woody Keller Woody Keller this is my nightmare he likes to call a pitch above the zone above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep but I'm telling you if you're calling that high strike it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you d -Roll. That's a tough pitch to get on top of and to put it in play. So if you're a pitcher right now try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. And another foul ball. Yeah you could tell he was ready for another fastball but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one off. Got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Well I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball there's not a whole lot you can do with that textbook sinker. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh the average coming in at 266. Nine homers and 22 RBIs. Oh. 
runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And he lost him. Ball four as Harper will reach. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do. But the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. So two down and a runner at first and that brings up Trent Grisham. Now a throw over and he'll dive back in. Here's the first pitch to him. No. One ball no strike. The 1-0 home. Yeah, you take a look at that two-seamer right there. Sinker had nasty downward plane on that ball. That thing must have gone down at least six inches. And it's one and two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. But another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. Home half of the first coming up from McCovey Cove. It's 1-0 San Diego. Sammy Vasquez gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start. But he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Lamont Wade is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1-0. and Guys, these Padres, as they take the field this afternoon, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. Two and one. It's three balls and a strike to the Giants left fielder. Akil Badu waits on deck. The 3 1. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking. Hit on the ground to short. And there's one away. Batting second, the center fielder. A kill. The two. So one down, no one aboard. And here's the former Rule 5 pick, Akil Badu. First pitch of the AB on its way. Yep. One out, nobody on. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. He makes the throw to first, two down. Batting third. So Not next to bat will be Trey Turner looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The pitch.
Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0 2 count. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Second inning now from San Francisco. The Padres lead it one to nothing. Ready now is Nick Prado. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch on the way. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Well it's been a lopsided series thus far with the Padres dominating to this point and taking aim at a series sweep in this contest. Sure does and it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road especially when you're playing a division opponent. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Ball. Playing two balls two strikes. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count but clearly he wasn't looking for it so it's a backwards K for him. Into the box Jorge Alfaro. As the first pitch misses to him it's ball one. And if they're going to get something close to a repeat effort out of their pitching staff in this game to the one they got yesterday that would certainly help the cause. No doubt about that Matt a combo platter combined shutout yesterday. Hopefully they can continue to throw more zeros up in this one today. Here's a swing and a miss one and one. The Padres already have the early one run lead so they're off to a good start trying to finish the series with an exclamation point. It's very difficult to sweep teams nowadays but jumping out to an early one run lead like they have in this one they're certainly headed in the right direction. Into the windup here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. And he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out. Base is empty two away and in to swing the bat next Jonathan is Jonathan India. India. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch as he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. Great job by the pitcher right there changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that it could work for him. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch and a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Yeah that's the spot right there for an 0 2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt especially with the base is empty. Padres an early one nothing lead here in the second. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Three up three down for San Diego. He played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. So in now for San Francisco, Austin Riley. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Austin Riley. Now here's the pitch. And he takes no, ball, ball one. One ball, no strike. Popped him up. Prado moving to his left. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Colin Moran. 
Next, it'll be Colin Moran, and he has been, pardon the cliche, in fuego of late. Seen that average shoot up quite a bit over the past eight ball games. First offering on its way. Ball. Now the 1 0 is laid oh. off for ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in the zone he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Batting six. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring in Jalen Davis. First pitch coming, here it is. Fouled away. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. One and one the count. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball. Two and one. Two balls and two strikes now. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. Hard hit ball to second and that is through into right field for a single. You know D -Row, it's not always easy to hit in the day exactly. games first five hitters the five up five now. down right six hit. hole hitter though. He must have gotten wow. a good night's sleep last That's night. That's exactly where I was going, Dan. First five guys in the order looked like they were still asleep rolling out of bed. Those day games will creep up on you. Six-hole guy was locked and loaded. And the runner back okay. safely. At the plate, Brandon Lau, as he lays oh. off a fastball too low for ball one. The batting average down in the low two tens. Seven homers, 13 RBIs. The 1 0. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Yeah. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. Davis leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Giants leave one. It remains one nothing. That's good. So here now is the pitcher, Sammy Vasquez. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll come up empty that time on a oh, sinker at strike oh, one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel oh, accuracy. Two. Behind 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame.
one and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. Good hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit hard toward the right side, and that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner, and he's going to make it there, barely, as he's into second base with a double. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Stepping in now, Vidal Bruhan. As he'll take a breaking ball too low and it's 1 and 0. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. That evens it up 1 and 1. Has a look now the pitch. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. Two out runner in scoring position at second. And that'll bring up the dynamic bat of Juan Soto. First pitch of the A.B. now. Come set the 0 1. Ball. One ball, one strike. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. The set and the two and one. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Mm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Two and two. Here it is. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He set the payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with the payoff pitch. Grounded weakly to the left. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. One left for San Diego. They lead it one to nothing. Welcome back as the Giants look to get their bats going in the third inning. And you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves. But we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening. So he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. 
turned on but it's wide of first and foul. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. And a good throw gets him. One gone. Batting now the to pitcher. the plate, the pitcher, Zach, Zach Eflin. Eflin. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball, no. And there's a base hit on the line. Dan, he took that right back at his face right there. Exactly what you're trying to do. Middle cut, though. Are you a little concerned? Yeah, that's a case of a ball being right down the middle. As a pitcher, you want to work the corners and stay out of that middle part of the zone, and he paid for it right there with a solid base hit. Lamont Wade Jr., the batter, as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 0. Ah. This is on the ground over to first, to second for one. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. One hits all they get. On now to the top of inning number four. The Padres on top, one to nothing. And welcome back to San Francisco as we send it down to Heidi. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. Bryce. Now the first pitch. Ah. The 0 1 on its way. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Can't oh, get him to God. chase. It's one and two. Great arm action on that two strike change up right there but even better job at the plate to take that one hard sinker misses two and two regardless of the result right here to be down 0 2 and work it back to an even count got to feel like it's a win for the offense on he squares this one nicely and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. I mean that has to frustrate the guy on the mound right there. You get him down 0 2 no put away pitch works to count back to neutral and is able to mix in a base hit. Nice job. In the hit will be Trent Grisham Harper running from first as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Playing 
pitch out. Nothing doing. Now the 2 1. Weak grounder back to the mound. There's one. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Standing in now, Nick Prado. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Throw over to the bag and the runner back. One run on three hits. No errors in the ball game for the Padres. A ball and a strike to the Padres' first baseman. Ball and two strikes now. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that oh. in the back of your mind. The count now at two and two. Off speed pitch, and there is strike three called. And boy, that zone just got a bit larger, two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. In now, Jorge Alfaro. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. The 1 0 home. Right. Grisham is off of first with two away. All even now, two and two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he fouls this one off. Hit hard to third. A dive, and he knocks it down. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all-around play, and the inning is over. Padres leave one, but they're up one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Akil Badu. First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, Deal on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Trey Turner is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, 1-0. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another Why you get a W or a loss right here. Lead-off man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Now a throw over to first. Don't want to forget about him.
high and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Fouled off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. No runs, three hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. At the plate now, Austin Riley. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time, every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings, but interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Called strike 0 and 2. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Runner at first here, one man out. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Grisham is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So two away for the Giants here in the fourth, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. Moran. 50th pitch of the game on its way. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. And he'll be tagged out at second base, trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Jonathan India digging in now. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Here it comes. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. All right, let's see if that leadoff single gets him going right now. They've taken it on the chin for most of this game, being a little passive at the plate in their approach. Let's see if that starts them off and they start to go more ambush tactics. to the plate now Sammy Vasquez now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away wow and that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. already a home run and a double for him in this one and now the first pitch as he'll cut on and miss it a good slider at the knees for strike one so far this season, Tatis carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Here comes the 0-1. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. Wade will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Next up, Vidal Bruhan. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. 
Yeah, Dan, he's got to feel pretty good about that. Not only did he have a great A-B, first pitch hacking, but he smoked that ball to mix in a ribby knock. Boy, he did. He must have had a pretty good plan of attack walking into that batter's box, and he had an idea of the pitch that he was going to get, and boy, he sure turned it loose and buggy with that one. Juan Soto to the plate now. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. The 1 0. Runners off for second. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Now the 2 0 home is in there for strike one. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I got to believe as an offense, you just got to throw that pitch away and move on to the next one. And that one yanked just foul. Here now the 2 2 he is swung on and missed. He got him. Friars forced to settle for just the one. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Giants to discuss his thoughts on the San Francisco lineup so far. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. All right, Heidi, thank you. The first baseman, Colin Moran. First pitch of the AB on its way. Lifted into center field. Back goes Grisham. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now back. The, right the batter will be Jalen Davis. Davis. First offering on its way. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. That's inside. 2 0. Oh. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. From the windup, the 2 0 pitch. All three. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. I can't imagine that pitcher was trying to put it right over the heart of the plate. Thank God he took that pitch right there, or he'd be getting one back from the umpire. And it's fouled away. Popped up. Prado in foul ground. Oh, he brought it back. Stepping in once again is Brendan Lau. Flew out last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Harper will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Giants down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Tyler Beatty takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound.
Top half of the sixth about to get started and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder Bryce Harper. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. So a line drive single to center makes it two hits for him this afternoon. And his total currently best on the ball club through these first six or so weeks of the young season. At the plate, Trent Grisham, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. One and no pitch on the way. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone and now the Giants are going to get a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The 2 1 will not catch the zone ball three. Nick Prado will be next. It's full now three and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. And whoa awfully close but it's ball four according to Woody Keller. Huge innings have begun with much less I could tell you that first and second no out and the guy on the bump really needs a strikeout or a double play right here. Stepping in next, Nick Prado, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now here's the first offering. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field, Wade has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. And this throw gets away from him. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. So we've got runners at the corners here one away and up next will be the big catcher Jorge Alfaro. Here's the first pitch to him. Wow the Padres have been scuffling so far they need to get a big hit and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. Now it's 2 and 0. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches. Hitters count here's the 2 0 pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try and induce the ground ball to get a double play. Working for the punch out and the offering struck him out and now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities and when they've had them like right now it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen.
Into the box now, Jonathan India, as he'll take a look at ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 1 0. Misses ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Runners on first and third, two away. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. 2 and 2 now. Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. Now, this is driven out to deep right center. This could be trouble. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the score is the runner from first. That makes it a 4 0 ball game. Usually a hitter will shorten his swing with two outs, but not this guy. He puts a big charge into this one and drives in a couple of runs along the way. That can be frustrating as a pitcher when you had a guy on the ropes and you couldn't finish him off, especially when he drives in runs. So now to the plate, Sammy Vasquez. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he won't bite at that point either. It's 2-0. My bet is he's getting the take sign now on 2 0. If he's having a hard time throwing strikes to the pitcher, you might as well let him work himself into trouble. From the belt, kicks and deals. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. I mean, he had to. I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt and say he was sitting something off speed. Because to be late on a fastball in a count like that is just. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. So two runs on two base hits, one error, and one man left on base. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. Padres lead it four to nothing. That'll bring up Tony Walters. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Yeah, they're definitely just not having consistent quality ABs. The game plan they had coming in hasn't worked, and I'm interested to see if they're willing to change it up a little bit. First pitch on its way. Swing and a little blooper to center. Grisham charging forward. He can't get to it. This one's down. Beggars can't be choosers right there. But <laughs> we love now those lawn darts. Doesn't pitcher. matter how they come. Tyler. Jammed off the Beedy. end of the bat. Doesn't matter. Andrew Vaughn will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. First delivery to him. He'll start this one at 274. Two home runs, 10 RBIs. Grounded to third. This could be two. Oh, but it's a wide throw to second, and they can't get the out. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. And this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face. And now here is Lamont Wade. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Now here's the first offering. Swing and a liner. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. 
And not in time as the run scores. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they add a number to the run column. Now to the plate. Here is Akil Badu. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. He's set. Here it comes. High and deep to right center. Back goes Grisham at the track. Vaughn is on his way home. He comes across to score as they now trail by only two. As we take a look here, it's just a good piece of hitting and good hustle. Driving the second run of the inning home and putting himself 90 feet away with just one out. Speedy Trey Turner digs in now as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Runner on third, sack fly situation, right? Two pitchers down. Really good job of patience trying to get a pitch that he can lift into the air to drive that runner home. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And that's going to be high two and two now. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The 2 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. In now, Austin Riley. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he looks at a slider in there, 1 and 1. one now two outs here with a runner at third nearly got the inside but ruled the ball not a good spot to be in right now a pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes the payoff pitch home. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. As the pitching coach heads out to the mound, I think this is probably just a case of giving your guy a chance to catch his breath, pump him up a little bit, let him know that he's got it under control. Now into the box, Colin Moran. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. One ball and one strike to the Giants' first baseman. Runners at the corners, two men out. Left side, but well foul. 
The one two. Popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Soto able to track it down for the third out. I'll give the enthusiasm a 10, the dancing a uh, 4. No shame, and you got to love it. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. George Kirby is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll and up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Kirby has made a name for himself as a very effective reliever in his career but he really doesn't fit the bill as a prototypical bullpen arm. So many guys bringing huge strikeout numbers these days. He isn't one of them. No he's not Matty V but what he does do he does a great job of missing barrels of the bats. He changes speeds moves the ball in out up and down not overpowering but he knows how to pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box, Vidal Bruhan. As he'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Behind 0 and 2 now. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4 2 our score. And smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Count still at one and two. And that misses two and two. Playing two balls, two strikes. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Pulled hard, but it's foul down the first base side. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. So stepping in is Juan Soto. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Two out nobody on. A ball and a strike now. The one one home is in there for the second strike. Hey this guy has come in and just done his job. Period the end. Chance to toss a scoreless inning right here with two down. They're only down two. A bloop and a blast and this game's tied. Throw in time and the side is retired. Padres down in order as they can't add to their four to two lead. Now to bat, Jalen Davis, a hit in two tries for him so far. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back 
showing some resiliency and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead locking down that W. Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right hander up to throw. The wind up and the 0 1. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare no down a Number really eight. good hitter, and instead Second of baseman. working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. To the plate now, Brandon Lau. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at 1 and 1. Again another foul ball. One and two, here it comes. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a ground ball to third. He's got it. Throw on to first will get him. Score it 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Now to the plate, Tony Walters singled in his last at bat. First delivery to him. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Ball two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. A 3 1 count, tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. Softly hit toward the hole. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail it here four to two. Ready to begin the eighth and standing in the outfielder, Bryce Harper. Bryce. First pitch on its way. And that misses ball one. And it looks now like a right hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And that's too high, ball two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. And he fouls this one off. Now the 2 1 is looked at for ball three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. The center fielder, number two, Trent Grisham. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that brings up Trent Grisham. Ball 
Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in there. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Oh. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Harper aboard here at first with nobody out. That's a There's strike. a belt high strike to even the count at one and one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Skied into straightaway right. Davis will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And stepping in, Nick Prado. He flew out in his last AB. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch out, nothing doing. Runners on first with one down. Lifted in the air out to left. Wade will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. So now here is Jorge Alfaro. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got a bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. No balls in one strike. Runner goes for second. Strike taken to throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Padres go down quietly, but they still lead this one four to two. Jason Raditz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Ty France will try and get his club Number back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. First delivery to him. There's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. The Friars are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale, so if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball. You're going for the sweep, and you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. The 1-1. One, one. Three and one now as that misses down and in. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. They might even change their nickname for this team to the Road Warriors. A sweep is looking pretty good as they're leading this one again late in the ballgame. Man, that's a tough one to swallow. You're hanging on to a slim lead, and the last thing you want to do is give up a leadoff walk. Seems like those are the ones that always come back to haunt you. So we'll see if that's the case here. First offering, Lamont Wade stands in as he looks at ball one here. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. Now 
outside, 3-0 now. Akil Badu, who represents the possible go-ahead run here, waits in the on-deck circle. That one's in there, three and one. Popped him up. Prado is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away. And here's the former rule five pick, Akil Badu. From the stretch, fouled off. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that can run like this. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor made to even have a chance to get him at first. Fastball called for strike two. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four seamer right there, but get back to that two seam. It's what his MO is. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. Throw on to second, so they'll get the lead man, and that's all. Here now is Trey Turner. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. in. And he'll be back in standing up. First pitch on the way. In there, and it's 0-1. Hey, great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Here's a blooper out toward left center. And Tatis is there to end the inning. One left for San Francisco. Still down by a count of 4 to 2. Daryl Zuniga enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. New inning set to get underway and up next will be the big catcher Jorge Alfaro. First pitch on its way. Ninth right. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Ball. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Up next to the hockey. Next to stand in is Jonathan India. He drove Jonathan in two runs on a double in his last India. at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. 
on its way the 0 1 pitch. Ball. Playing 11 1 1. Hard ground ball to third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he'll reach second now with one away. And if you're thinking pinch hitter, here's what the Friars have left on the bench to choose from. Adam Hazley will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Hazley has a history in coming through in the clutch moments, of course. It's always a little bit of a debate whether or not being clutch is actually a trait that a player possesses, but with him, there's no denying it. We've seen him deliver in big moments repeatedly throughout his career. It just seems he elevates his game somehow and the pressure is on. Yeah, Matty, he has definitely put that debate to rest. He has absolute ice water in his veins. 0-2 oh, pitch is a sinker that misses, but he's still in command one and two. Good hard sinker, but he lays off to even things at two and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And the runner from second is in to score. It's five to two. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead Up to three. To Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Fernando Tatis Jr. stands in again as they're back to the top of the order. He jump started the game with a leadoff home run. First pitch of the AB on its way, and it's fouled away. Hazley stands at third with one gun in the inning. There's a fastball pretty close that time but ruled a ball one and one. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Now the one and one pitch is swung on and missed and that's strike two. The one two fouled away. He'll try again one two. One out and a runner on third. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Now Up next, Vidal Brujan. Though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. down the left field line and deep and it's a foul ball now the 0 2 pitch ball. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there he he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. 
He stays alive, still two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. One for the Padres in the inning, and it comes on the RBI triple. Last chance coming up for the G-Men. It's now 5-2 San Diego. Keone Kella enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Into the box, Austin Here Riley. It was a walk in his last trip. Hey, not an easy thing to do to try to come back and tie a game or take the lead off of a guy like this, one of the game's elite closers. First pitch of the AB now. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A ball and a strike. Playing 11. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Grisham is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. So his day over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the San Diego starter. Great day's work any way you look at it. Matty V, really a solid performance. Seven strong innings pitched in line for the win. Needs some help for the bullpen to close this one out. Standing in now, Colin Moran. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Breaking ball as this runs in on him, and he has to step out of the way that time. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. And he fouls this one off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. 2 and 2, oh, and he flips one up there that the bottom the right really field. falls out at the last Game minute. Man. It's so hard to pick up, Game and it's even harder to make good contact with. Into the box now, Jalen Davis. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And he'll make the catch to end it, and the Padres go on the road and sweep their division rivals in this three-game series. 5-2 to two the final today. The San Diego Padres jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Sammy Vasquez earns win number four on the season. Keone Kella records the save, his 14th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious San Diego Padres five runs on nine hits one error they left seven men on base for the Giants two runs on five hits one error they left six men on base time of the ball game three hours and eight minutes.
thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we